in the desolate mountains of Afghanistan, in the unforgiving winter of 2006, an eerie silence blanketed the land. The moon hung low, casting an ominous glow over the jagged peaks, as a secret military outpost nestled in the heart of darkness. Its very existence was known to only a select few, and its purpose was one of utmost secrecy. Within the encampment, hushed whispers and clandestine meetings had long been circulating about the presence of a creature, something far more sinister than the tales told by locals. The soldiers had heard chilling tales from the nearby villages, stories of a creature that roamed the wilderness, a creature with the insatiable thirst for human blood a werewolf. The rumors were soon proven to be more than mere superstitions when a patrol unit stumbled upon the gruesome aftermath of one of the beast's rampages. Mangled bodies lay scattered like discarded toys, blood-soaked snow painting a macabre scene. The message was clear something savage and supernatural stalked the mountains, and it was hungry. Orders came from high above to capture or eliminate the menace. The best of the best was deployed special forces, with advanced weaponry and an unwavering determination to bring the creature down. Armed to the teeth, they embarked on their mission into the abyss. For days, they scoured the treacherous terrain, enduring bitter cold, grueling fatigue, and the constant dread of the unknown. And then, on the seventh night, the beast struck. It emerged from the shadows, a monstrous hybrid of man and wolf, eyes aglow with malevolence. Its claws were like scythes, and its fangs gleamed wickedly. Bullets tore through its flesh, but it was as if they were nothing more than mosquito bites. The werewolf moved with supernatural agility, dodging bullets and slicing through steel with ease. The special forces team fought valiantly, but one by one they fell. The creature moved through the soldiers like a whirlwind, leaving a trail of mutilation in its wake. No matter how precise their shots, how clever their tactics, it seemed invincible. In a desperate bid to stop the unrelenting carnage, the commanding officer gave the order to retreat. The surviving soldiers scrambled back towards their outpost, leaving behind a surreal scene of devastation. The werewolf, blood-soaked and wounded, lingered only for a moment before it howled with a guttural, bone-chilling roar that echoed through the mountains. Then, like a shadow, it melted into the darkness of the forest, leaving the soldiers with a sense of dread that would haunt them for the rest of their lives. The military outpost was abandoned, as fear of the creature now outweighed any strategic advantage of its location. The werewolf remained elusive, a haunting presence in the Afghan wilderness, an unchallenged terror that had bested the might of the United States military. And so, in the chilling winter of 2006, the legend of the werewolf of Afghanistan was born a creature that, to this day, haunts the darkest corners of the soldiers' memories, a grim reminder of the limits of human power in the face of true monstrosity.